It's not just about the destination, it's about the journey too. Life is all about ups and downs. Like a roller coaster ride, you have the anticipation, the fear, the excitement, low points, high points, and unexpected turns. But it's a ride that we all keep getting on, always willing to face our fears. What's up sisters, it is Carmen here and today I'll be sharing my story thanks to Olay about overcoming fears and adversity that I have been through in my life and you know how it helped me get to the woman I am today. Currently I am a mother as you can see and I'm also an entrepreneur and I full time working for myself for five years. I am a certified personal trainer and I really love what I do now. I did not get my degree in kinesiology or exercise science or anything like that. Back in college, I struggled with what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure a lot of us went through that. Uh, I like changed my major like five times, not knowing what to choose and what would be the best for my future. And you know, I, it was very obvious some things that I was really passionate about and things that I love, but I was following probably the dollar sign and letting people you know, dictate what I should do with my life. And that's where I made the mistake, right there. Beforehand, you know, I was all into sports and I was all into art. And like, there's no money in art. There's no money, you know, really for women in sports. So I was like, uh, so. I switched my major like five times. Since so I was good with numbers, I started my major in accounting. And then, you know, halfway through, I was like, I don't wanna do this. And so I switched it to art. And then I was like, this is gonna take forever to get out of college. And I, you know, people were like, there's really no money, you'll struggle with life coming out of college with an art degree. So I switched it to finance and then I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. Then I switched it to education because that's what my sisters were doing. I dwelled, you know, I thought about kinesiology and exercise science, but I don't think I was really curious enough at that point or at that time. No, I switched it back to accounting. Too much, and that ended up adding an extra gear into college, and boy, was I miserable. I was so done with college, and so, because I had so many credits in accounting already, I was like, let me just finish there and be done. And so I, I did, not really happy with my choice, but hey, I got the degree, I'm done, boom. So I did that and wasn't happy with the job I got. I was not happy at all and I was very miserable and it put me in depression pretty bad working at nine to five desk job and ended up gaining 50 pounds, sitting, being static and you know pressuring myself to hit quotas that didn't make any sense and it put me in a dark place and i do not wear my feelings on my shoulders i do not wear my heart on my shoulders i just no you won't know if something's wrong with me but you know this really weighed on me and i put myself in a little dark corner didn't want to be bothered by anybody didn't want to really express myself and i had to you know let my husband and my family in and you know church family really they all really came together and pulled me out of that dark that dark place that i was in and you know i was able to recuperate my thoughts realize i was struggling with my identity at that time and my purpose in life and you know going back to thinking how people used to tell me and let them dictate what I should do and put the fear in me to, you know, that I would fail and that there's no success in certain areas of, you know, stuff that I was really passionate in. And so, you know, going, you know, day to day at my desk job, I found myself always writing and work, making little workout plans and meal plans for myself. I decided to go and study to become a certified personal trainer. I did it online through NASM and that took a minute. It took me half a year. Studied really hard, passed my test, put my two weeks notice in a whole month early. I was done. I was done. I was like, I'm going into the new year as a new woman. I don't care if I fail. Throughout this whole time being a personal trainer, it was ups and downs, but 
eventually I got really, really good at what I was doing and I built up my clientele and was able to just do this full time and have not looked back since then. And there's so much love in it, so much passion in it. And I really, really am grateful and thankful to be able to do what I do today and be at home with my kid, have time for her. My advice would be to focus hard on what you love and do in your dreams. Have faith in yourself. You have to believe in yourself to really overcome that mental mountain or mental block. You gotta really believe in yourself to be able to keep moving forward. And don't be afraid to fail. It's okay to, you know, have down moments. Life is all about ups and downs. You use those as stepping stones, as some people say, you know, and keep it moving, keep going. Don't, don't give up just because, you know, you fall once, get back up keep trying thank you for listening to my story i want you to click the link down below in the description box and see tristan's story who is a pilot and see how she overcame her fears and adversity with the power of olay behind her thank you for watching peace out sisters